Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I recently posted a video about Capacities, which is a new note-taking app that I like a lot and it's really exciting to see it develop and that's my most viewed video on this YouTube channel. So today I thought I would make a more in-depth tutorial on how to use Capacities and if you haven't checked out Capacities yet I will leave a link to a video up here so you can check out my first video where I just go through the app and you can see how it looks like. I recommend if you haven't checked out Capacities yet to watch that video first because I will not go over a lot of the stuff I mentioned there. And Capacities is a really flexible app and it reminds me a lot about Notion. Both of them are great apps but Capacities in my opinion is a lot better for personal use. So the first thing I would do is to create an object called uh, called uh, tags and I believe that it is a template inside of capacities already and it is. So I will sort out my tags first and I have a rule in all of my note-taking apps that I don't have too many tags and I use Para, which stands for Projects, Areas of Responsibility, Resources, and Archive as my tags. So let's start with the first one, which is Projects. Uh, and I have a lot of projects ongoing all of the time. Uh, then we will make one for uh, Archive, which is everything that is archived. So everything I'm not using anymore, but I don't want to delete because it... I may have a need for them later. The third one is areas and that's areas of responsibility. So the difference between projects and areas is that areas is things I have in my life without a due date and projects often have a due date or have a due date all of the time. So inside my areas I can have projects and uh, I will put them inside of the project tag. And the last one is resources. And here I put everything that I think I might need, but not right now. So after I have sorted out my tags, then I go to all the other ob objects. And there are quite a few objects I like to have. So the first thing is person object. Um, that's for people in my life. So I will just make an example uh, from oh, my business partner. His name is Kasim Nabi. Uh, then I will give him a category and he will be inside of areas. Uh, then you can add different properties. I will get back to that later. And you can also add collections and I will get back to that later as well. Then. I like to have a meeting notes uh, template because I have a lot of meetings as well. Uh, so I have a meetings uh, notes object because I like to have my meeting notes easily accessible. I will also have a tag for this one. Um, so I will make a tag for for uh, the meeting types as well and we can rename this to tags but so for people involved I just use at and then at the person uh, from my people's uh, object and then we have type and this is also inside of areas because my clothing brand doesn't have a due date then I can put the date of the meeting let's say the meeting is today uh, and we will get back to other properties later. So that's uh, two objects done. The third object uh, is actually one I make for myself and that's outfits. So outfit and outfits. Uh, so this is the plural name and this is uh, just the name. You can also change the icon if you wanted to. 
I don't, uh, I tend not to change the icons as much. I don't know why, but if you like to, you can easily change your icons. Then I would import different outfits and outfit inspirations inside of here. Then we have another object I like to have, and this one is books. So I like to have one for all of uh, the different medias I read, so we can call this book. And I want one for podcast, I want one for uh, film as well, one for series. So every type of media, and that's simply because I like to have different properties for everyone. But I will just show you the book one right now. So we have author, rating, recommended by, and medium. Uh, I don't like to have the medium uh, property, so I will just remove this one. Uh, I like to have these three, author, rating, and recommended by. That's my book notes. Then we will have one for projects as well, just because I like to have my projects uh, separately. So I can take a look at them. You have status, start date, end date, and collaborators. So if we do an example with my clothing brand once again, and you can also add a tag if you would like to. Uh, so I add added a tag and this one in, inside of areas because it is still my clothing brand and we started it today and it's supposed to be done by June 30th. So if you go into the status, I like to change this up to be a single um, a text property instead of a tag property. So I don't like to have a don't like to have a tag property just simply because it doesn't work too well for me i just like to have it as a status property as a text and i can just easily write the things i need so if you put this on top uh doing is the status and sometimes i like to write a little bit more doing but struggling with design for example so that's why i prefer to have a text column instead of a tag uh, so that's how i set up my projects and every project is tagged with projects as well as being tagged with the area it is related to so this is a project and it is inside of my areas so the next property I like to have is personal social media. Personal social media. And that's simply because I post a lot of content on different social media. Personal social media. Yes. And if you have the capacities believer plan, which I think costs $10 a month if you pay yearly, you can change the colors as well. I don't have it because I don't use Capacities as my primary note-taking app. Even though it's a great app, I just like another app a lot better. So this is my personal social media page. And now we can take a look at different collections. Because inside of Capacities, you have collections as well as uh, objects. So inside of my personal social media I will use this as an example I will have different type of collections so I will make I think it's four collections I don't remember how many social medias I use at the moment so after I've created the collections I need I will rename this to blog posts YouTube videos etc etc YouTube videos um, then we have what else uh, TikTok videos and so on so I will just delete these ones just for the sake of this video I will delete these two ones and then I have uh, a collection for each of the social medias I am posting to so I create a new one inside of blog posts blog posts you can also 
quite easily make templates. So blog post template. Um, just again for the sake of this video, I will just make a simple, uh, a simple template main part, and I will end it with uh, ending. Then I could have all of my referral links or social media links down here. Then I could get my social media links and have them inside of here. And now we have made a simple template we can use. So that's how I set up the collections. And I do this for every single one of my, my uh, uh, objects. I can do one for... Uh, this as well for uh, for oh I forgot the name for outfits as well I can make different types of collections and it is quite easy to do as you have seen um, so we will just make a couple of collections um, casual outfits formal outfits Formal outfits, and I will do one for blends as well. Uh, so I can easily just put things inside of here. The reason for having good collections is to easily find different things later. And I just wanted to touch on this as well. I like to take all of my notes into the daily page before I move them to somewhere else. Another thing we can do is to use, uh, set up a telegram, um, a telegram integration. I have set up a WhatsApp, Twitter and email as well. So you simply just scan this QR code and you're done. So that's a good thing, especially if you're not a capacities believer, because it doesn't have a mobile app and the mobile app it has is in early uh, beta. So it is in test flight right now. Uh, I haven't tried the mobile app yet. So that's simply how I set up my capacities. I tried to keep this video as brief as possible without sacrificing too much but that's how i would set up my capacities when i first start the app thank you for watching and if you like the video if you want an even more in-depth video on capacities please do comment down below and i will try to get to it as soon as i can 